Hello, my reading friends. It's Jillian. I hope you are doing very well. I was recently looking for something that was an armchair traveler, a sweeping history, something that would take me away and transport me to a beautiful setting. And if there's anyone that can do that, it's Natasha Solomons. Today, I'm talking about the Song of Heartgrove Hall. She also has the House of Timeford and the House of Gold. But this beautiful story touches on a post-World War II community connection element. Now, if you like Downton Abbey, this is also your book because it has that grand house. It has the landscape that connects all of the people within it, but it also has the characters that stay with you long after you finish reading. Fox is a lover of music. It makes him feel very isolated from his two brothers that are quite different from him. After the war, all three luckily come home and they throw the biggest bash the town has seen because they realize those that are around us are actually the most important part of our lives and stories. Fox also sees this 50 years after that lovely party because his life looks super different. He's now an accomplished composer and his five-year-old grandson is a piano prodigy. And during the time he spends connecting now with his new reality makes him look back on the choices that had to come, the hard ones that made the good ones, if you can ask for forgiveness, and if you can really love yourself. These are a lot of things we're still asking. So if you like this and you like her, check out her other books as well, because they all transport us to a better and different time that make us acknowledge our own in a whole new way. I hope you enjoyed and happy reading.